This morning, the first customer convicted under a new child sex trafficking law will be sentenced in court. Michael Kohlmeyer was found guilty back in October of, after he contacted a website and asked for a minor prostitute. Human trafficking does continue to be a major issue in Tennessee, and the TBI wants more help dealing with the problem. They're getting that from a new bill. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres is live outside of the TBI headquarters this morning to explain what this measure is all about. Matthew? Steve, good morning. This bill was passed by General Assembly yesterday morning, and essentially it will provide funding for the TBI to help with resources when it comes to dealing with human trafficking cases. In my hand is just a copy of the summary of this bill, and it said that effective July 1st, the funding will help TBI employ four special agents. This is in regards to training officers as well as help investigate and convict, again, cases of human trafficking, which is, again, a huge problem here in Tennessee. According to recent statistics from the TBI, just in Davidson County, there were more than 100 reports of minor sex trafficking. Again, that is just one county. What's also interesting is that out of all of the reports of sex trafficking here in the state, majority of them come from social workers and not necessarily local law enforcement, which is why education is key with this bill. This bill will allow a course to be taught, providing the right protocols and procedures when dealing with victims as well as uh, teaching the departments how to manage uh, cases like these. And we're talking about different departments from child services to human services. And of course, for officers dealing with the complaints, they are also uh, mandatory to take a two hour training course. So again, the key thing about all of this is education in hopes to dwindle down the amount of cases when it comes to human trafficking here in Tennessee. All of these should changes should be slated for January 1st as far as the agents that is effective July of this year. We're reporting live outside the TBI headquarters. I'm Matthew Torres, News Channel 5 HD.